Here in Minnesota, we've got 10,000 lakes, miles of forests and prairies, and lots and lots and lots of winter snow and ice. When temperatures drop, Minnesotans slap on their skates, skis, and winter boots and head outside to play. But as fun as winter sports may be, driving on icy roads can be downright scary. During the winter of 1941, road engineers in New Hampshire came up with the idea of pouring salt onto roads to help melt the ice more quickly. The plan worked so well that other states started putting salt on their roads as well. Now, 80 years later, local, state, and federal highway departments are applying nearly 20 million tons of salt to roads in the United States every year. In scientific terms, salts are called chlorides. Unfortunately, most of the salt that we apply onto roads and sidewalks ends up in our water, where it is toxic to fish, plants, and aquatic life. Just one teaspoon of salt is enough to permanently contaminate five gallons of fresh water. And we don't just use salts to melt ice. We also use them to reduce dust on gravel roads and soften our water at home to make appliances operate more efficiently. As of 2020, 50 lakes and streams in Minnesota were impaired by too much salt. And that includes three of our local lakes here in Washington County. 75 water bodies are at high risk of impairment. And 30% of the shallow groundwater wells in the Twin Cities had chloride concentrations above the EPA-recommended standard for drinking water. Unfortunately, there are no practical ways to remove salt from freshwater lakes, streams, or groundwater. It is also extremely costly and difficult to remove salt from wastewater. That's why we need everyone's help to protect our water and use less salt. Here are some ways that you can help. Drive slower and wear appropriate shoes when it's snowy and icy outside, so that maintenance crews won't need to use as much salt to prevent crashes or slip and fall injuries. Use less salt on your own driveway and sidewalk. For most de-icers, one pound of salt, one heaping coffee mug, is enough to clear a 20-foot driveway or 10 sidewalk squares, 250 square feet. Always shovel before using salt. Skip the salt when it's colder than 15 degrees. Salt works by lowering the freezing temperature of water so that it doesn't form ice crystals when the temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the freezing point of water. However, traditional road salt made of sodium chloride doesn't work when it's colder than 15 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is a waste of time and money to put down salt on very cold days. Magnesium chloride and calcium chloride work at colder temperatures, negative 10 and negative 20 respectively, but can be more expensive. You can also use sand for traction at these lower temperatures. Sweep up and reuse leftover salt after the ice melts. 100% of Washington County households get their water from groundwater, whether through private or municipal wells. Groundwater is naturally high in minerals, making a water softener necessary in most cases. To reduce the amount of salt your water softener uses, upgrade from a timer-based system to a demand-based system. And install a bypass for toilets, outside irrigation systems, and utility sinks that don't need soft water. Installing low-flow fixtures will help to conserve groundwater and use less water softening salt as well. And finally, just because you don't see salt on a road or parking lot doesn't mean it isn't there. Many communities are using new technology, such as pretreatment and precision application rates, to reduce the amount of salt they use without affecting safety. If you notice your city or local businesses using less salt, tell them thanks for helping to protect our water. So, get outside and enjoy the winter snow, Minnesota. Grab your jackets, boots, gloves, hats, scarves, and woolly socks. But please, hold the salt. <laughs>